Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a performance ex exam of TW Loader and Bootstrap 0.5.1b of Metroid Prime Hunters, apparently the non-American version. I'm going to kind of do this performance ex exam in a different way than I've done it before, which is kind of commentate while I play it so you guys can, you know, hear some commentary while I actually in fact try the game out and see how it performs. Let me know what you guys think about this format over the past four videos where I record and then I add some commentary and uh, then leave you guys with some gameplay. I noticed that after my commentary was over, a lot of people just absolutely stopped watching the video. So they had a very, uh, it had a very low retention rate. So I'm gonna try it this way, see if you guys like this a little better. This game initially has quite a long load time, like a couple of minutes actually. Uh, this is a great, fantastic Metroid game, I thought anyways. Uh, this was on the Nintendo DS, of course. And, uh, you know, you could play as like seven or eight different characters, and they all have their different morph abilities, and it had a really fun multiplayer mode. And me and my cousin, we used to just sit and play the multiplayer mode like Mad Men, and just sit there, and I'd always win because I'm the best at this game. But, you know, it's a really fun game. And, uh... TWO loader it seems to have you know quite some long load times for this depending on if you're going into a new area or not and probably for good reason too because the maps are pretty big in this game and this was a pretty fantastic looking 3D shooter on the Nintendo DS back in the day so I imagine it's got some large files to load I mean look at these graphics they're really good there is some sort of like little effect going on right here I notice that occasionally in some games sometimes it's there sometimes it's not I don't know what it is too bad too bad the C stick I cannot use that would be a great opportunity this is one of those games where uh, I believe you have to use this I can't find the settings to where you could uh not have to use that because I believe you could use this to move see there's that but then I have to use this so anyways I guess we're just gonna do this because I can't find out how to do it any other way I just gotta figure out man that's weird why is the left to shoot and not the right oh well I'm not gonna question things pretty sure there was a, a mode in the settings if I could get to the settings. There is some lag when you go from each area. So every time I go into a new room, you can notice a stutter. And as soon as you get into the room, the room seems to work great with no lag, no sound crackling, nothing like that. I also noticed though, if you are playing a game that's in surround sound audio, you will get crackles unless you change it to stereo audio. If you change it to stereo audio, it'll run flawlessly. Besides the, you know, the little little lags that you occasionally get. Um, this was one of the things I really didn't like about the game was having to scan stuff. I mean, I literally spent half my time playing this game just scanning crap, and it got really tedious. So that, that's one thing I really don't miss about this game is all the scanning you had to do. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going to have to fight some enemies. Some little drone things. But this game is super fluid though. I, I really honestly enjoy this game. And uh, you know, TWO Loader and the Bootstrap really run it pretty good, but watch. As soon as I go in here, there should be, yep, a little micro lag as, as it's loading it. This is actually lagging quite a bit to go into this room. It's probably because uh, there's stuff in this box that you can get, as you can see. It, it loads when it's trying to load some new assets. But once the assets are loaded, it seems to run just fine. Okay. There is a Metroid thing. Get the missile, swap over the missile. Boom. Easy breezy beautiful. And uh, the thing I really liked about this game though, was you could, you could get different like weapons from all the different alien creatures so all the different playable characters and you could use their items and you could just switch over like that i really like that mechanic i it just there's something about playing as all the different characters it was really cool and they all have their own morph balls and stuff like that what's up suckas oh shoot 
Ouch. So performance, really not bad, guys. I mean, other than the little lags you get every time you go into a new room. Hello? I would rate this game as generally playable. I mean, if you can stand the little micro lags when you go into a new room, I mean, that's literally all you have to tolerate. And then the initial long loading time of loading the game up, which is like two minutes. Do I have to shoot? Do I have to scan? You, there's, there's. If you ever feel like you don't know what to do, always just scan crap. I mean, literally, that's the best advice I could give you in this game, is just scan crap. Eventually, you'll find something. Eventually, something will happen after you scan enough craps. As, as you can see, my advice has failed right now. Um... This is a key of some sort or something. I haven't played this game in forever, so... Let me out, I say! Let me out! This is inhumane! WTF am I supposed to do? I like how when you move, you can see your actual visor. You can see it kind of have some lag to it. That was a nice little touch. It's a great looking game, you guys. Oh, is it this thing I need to scan? Nope. There's some useless information that I can't even read because this game's not even in English. So there was also DS download play for this game, meaning you could play with people who didn't have the game. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So we're going to see if we can get into some multiplayer action real quick. See how that runs. You could add bots and stuff. I believe you can play it without actually having to have anybody DS download play. Okay, why is it... Oh, uh, is it actually in fact on? No, that was the main menu. What language is this, you guys? Is that Korean? I, d I don't, I don't know. One of these modes will allow us to play. I know it. There we go. I believe this one will allow us to play with bots. So let's see how that goes. Oh, there was always so many game modes to play, you guys. I love survival. So there was a bunch of different levels to make. Back when I was developing Quake mods on the PSP, I actually made a game called Prime PSP. Combat Hall was the one level I made, and it was totally inspired by this game. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. So that was such a small little fun level to play. Now right here, we should be able to add bots. And you can see there is significantly more lag going through each of these menus, but still, it's not too bad. These were some of the playable characters. You unlock them more as you go. I loved that guy. He could turn invisible and stuff if he stood still. This guy can actually climb on walls, which is super cool. They all have like a special perk ability. Like this guy can go through lava. He can climb up walls. And uh, yeah, so we can add some bots here. We're just going to add all these guys. And they're all going to be semi-retarded. Because I suck at this... Okay, I have now pressed... It makes that sound, and it, but it won't start. I just love not being able to actually play. Apparently, this mode will not work for some reason. You cannot get into battle mode, which is really unfortunate because battle mode is a ton of fun. Overall, you guys... This is a pretty good game to go out and play and try on TW Loader and the Bootstrap. You can't battle, I guess, but you can get through the single player, and you can have quite a bit of fun with this game. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video, seeing me struggle through. Let me know if you guys like this format better of me talking while I play the game, or if you guys would have 
a little commentary at first and then just have some general gameplay. I'd love to see your guys' thoughts on this issue. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, big crew.